Yes, it's another episode of Squawk Talk. And I know it's four o'clock on Sunday, so you can't wait anymore. You just want to know who's sitting right to my left over here. So should I just tell them, guys? Yeah. All right. Here's who's on the show. Oh, yeah, it's Michael Morrow. Hi. Like tomorrow, tomorrow. Right there is Michael Morrow. All right. So, Michael, let's talk about you, man. Okay. We need to get the scoop on Michael. All right, yeah. Michael, let's see. Um, You don't have a nickname. Nope. Because your name's already so cool. Yeah. You got the alliteration I'm, thing I'm going. Just, and exactly. you're in what grade? Sixth. Yes, you are. What are your two favorite subjects? Like science and history, I find history really cool. Like, just because you know, just learning about the past and not like the future. Just because you know, we can we can probably predict what's going to happen in the future, like, like with weather. But history, we can't know unless it's documented. So, exactly. like, we have to have. You know. And it's fascinating to see why people chose to mm -hmm. do something, do I've, things that they did, and yeah, not just yeah. And then you're like, oh, that's what's happened. A lot of times you hear about something that happened, and you're like, no way. And then you go, oh my gosh, because. Yeah. And then sometimes you're like, this person did that thing because this and then that. And it's like all, you know, timelines. And it all makes sense. Which uh, makes me think of plays a lot, too. Um, you can actually follow theater through the years, and it goes along with what's going on in the world. Like, you know, plays happened because of what was happening in the world a certain way. Usually predicts change. Kind of. Really interesting. I've always loved history. My best friend. Way smarter than me. No one is all right, um, real quick, let's show our crew. Our crew is amazing. Uh, Yay! Half of awesome. Of yeah. And more. Yeah, the ones that aren't important, they're gone. Okay, oh. so let's so so history and science. Now this is interesting, considering your first two. Your least favorite subject? Math. That surprises me. I find that interesting. I mean, I mean, math. I find it fun when you know you actually know what you're doing, but like it's just so hard because it's like you know you have. Just today, we started doing like the grit, like it's equal to or greater, where it shows like you know the thing and it shows yeah. the line. Under, like, and I'm just like, I don't understand it. It's too hard. Like, I just it for I, I, I always found, and I was not great at math, I was good at math, but I always figured I think next year you'll totally understand that. But that's when they won't let you do that. They'll throw new stuff at you. You're like, I don't get this stuff. Like, I don't get this stuff. And you have to go like all the way back to like a year of work just to find what you're trying to do now. Like, right, you're like, oh yeah, I made this one mistake that I had to do all that for. All that. All right. Oh. And how are we doing on time? Oh, perfect. All right. So let's see. What is your pet peeve? Like. Or just tell me a pet peeve. I can tell you what you put on here, but I'd love to know. Yeah, what you Something that drives you crazy, right? Just. People, when they say like, to put in, like, just fill in sentences. Like, like, like. It's, it's, uh, <laughs> Drives you crazy. Because like, uh, I understand using it sometimes, but when you're just sitting there going, and then like, and then, you know, he like, and then, you know, like, like, and it's just. It's, it drives There are words crazy. for reasons. I gotcha. Um, let's. Spill. All right, we did not check what order these are on. So hopefully, hopefully Charlie can uh, nail it here. Let's go to Bill, which is on the next page. And this is the slide. So Michael was nice enough to provide some photos for us that uh, he's going to share some of his life with. All right, let's hope that we're in the right spot. I don't remember. Hey, Michael. I'm there. Oh, right now I'm here. I'm there, but here. Need that. Yeah, that's the right one. All right, Michael, what are we looking at here, bud? So that was during Christmas, like around Christmas time when we uh -huh. had our first band concert. Uh -oh. And I, you can see me there, like, you know, dressed in, in your the band nice, shirt and all, like, and band shirt and pants. Socks, yeah. And my sister is to the right of me just because, you know. Family photo. Yeah. Family photo. And my mom just told us to, like, get in front of the Christmas tree to take a photo right before we went off to the band concert. So and how was the band concert? Pretty good. Felt good to just stand up and just get applause. Just, it's it you, did, you did great. It feels yes, great. Yes, you felt that in a couple of things, but we're going to get to that later. And your sister looks so cute. What grade she in? Uh, she's currently in kindergarten. Oh, so it's a while before I get her. Mm -hmm. All right. Wow. Cool. Um, let's see the next one. 
So, Where are we at here? So that is at the Smoky Mountains when we had the Smoky Mountains trip in like fifth grade. Oh, we yeah. were we went to one of the waterfall hikes. I think it was like the geology hike. Which one of the hike and one of the geology, geology hike, hike where yeah. you get to go like see rocks and stuff. That one I liked a lot more than the nature hike. Like yeah, nature's cool, but like just seeing water, you know, it's just it's yeah. just like a soothing sound. Oh, absolutely. Like, I went on the one when they used to the, go to the Grand Teton. Cool, awesome, and cool picture. Next one, please. All right, what do we got here? So that is me at my aunt's house after I just cut off like all that hair because in the previous picture oh. you, saw, you saw that I had all that hair. Yeah, I was donating it to uh, kids with cancer so that you know oh, they have a yeah. wig, and that was b basically recently after I had done that. And I was at my aunt's house, and I took a photo with my phone to just be like, I'm with the cat right now. I, I, <laughs> like, it was right here, just, like, rolled up in my lap, and I'm just like, cat. Very I had cool. the cat in my lap. And I, I, don't, I have not seen you with long hair. I've only seen you. This was right after. I didn't know that when I saw the picture. Very cool. All right. You know what it's time to do now? It's time to spin. Michael's going to spin and figure out what game we're going to play today. Mm. All right. We have a grand competition where most people destroy me. Really <gasps> That's a spin. You know, he's not seen the show, so we don't know which one he wants. But there's a lot of fun stuff on here. Cheese balls. All like, right. I don't like cheese balls. Oh, well, there's only three of each. Well, you, you, we're just catching them in our mouths, and I then you can spit it out. Cheese. <laughs> All right, here we go. Have a couple of these. Doing the sanitary thing here. I don't want, I don't want a cheese ball. <laughs> oh, I don't. That's okay. If it goes like it has, you will catch none. Because that's what's been happening. It's been mm -hmm. very annoying. But you wanted, if you had known, you would have wanted anything except for cheese. What's the, let's see, uh, crew cam, what, what's the boat here? How many people like cheese balls? Everybody! Oh my gosh, maybe we should throw them in there. Yeah, yeah. we probably, let's do that. Let's do that. I'd rather do that. All right, all right. So, I don't know how we're going to be able to do this. We want food. Um, but can we, let's just put the crew cam on and we'll eat big pot shots at you. They're starving. They're starving like the kids in my basement. Come on. So, we have first of all, guys, put it back over here real quick. The Chalice of Cheese, dun dun dun, with Michael in the background. Hey. Okay. All right, so we each get three. Let's see who can win. All right, somebody's gonna get double cheese balls. Yes. There you go. All right, you wanna go first? You. All right, Ray. Going with Charlie first. Put it, here we go. Oh, that was remarkably close. All right, Lily. <laughs> it's not, that it's, is not my fault. We don't. We don't have. No, not you. All right. Are you ready? Laura's ready. Here we go. Oh, it was too. It was too. Not far enough. All right, Jenna. I don't want any. What? Jenna, I'll take it. I want it. I all right, want it. All right. All right. We'll go to Kira. Oh, Kira first. All I right. threw it to her. I did better. You got it. Yeah, caught it. All right, ready? I did better. Yes! Oh, yeah. All right, one more. You got this, boy. You got this. Uh. Oh! Okay. I do good. But, They're very stale. Yeah, they, they, I, they've been in those Ziplocs, but it's been a couple months. Taste? That's, when, that's when they start to taste good. All right, moving on. So now we're to, we did spill. We did spin. Now we're to stage. I want to talk to Michael about his experience on the stage with the five players and or more than that. All right. Okay. So, um, was that yeah. school is for teachers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We, we kind of talk about that. That's all right. I need that a lot tomorrow. Okay. All right. Hit it. Stage. You already do stage. All right. I did stage. Oh, my gosh. A lot of stage. A lot of stage. Okay. So, uh, tell us about your experience with the five players as a sixth grader. You've only been able to be in two productions. But I was only in one. Only in was. one, right. And why didn't you try for the first one? We all want to know. Because, like, when you hear the announcements, you're just like, you know, it's just like, dude, I did it. Like, I couldn't really hear it that well. So I was Absolutely. like, I have no clue what they're saying. 
So I, so I never knew like what they were talking about. So just right. like I don't want to. You didn't know D dash R. Wait, www dot D dash R dash A dash M dash A dot com. Uh huh. Did you see the excitement on his face? Oh, so great. There we go. Anyway, um, um, all right. So, but you did do the Gainesville. I did do the Gainesville. Did that. Yep. Cool. And what made the audition for that one? Did you be the first? Uh, audition? so I had study hall act lab. Like, I think it was second quarter, like full quarter act lab. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I was with Graham. And he said he was going to try out for it. So I was like, try out for what? Falcon players. It's like just a play that you get to be in. And I was like, oh, okay. So Graham t just like quickly get, did it within like the last five minutes frame of oh, signing up. No so kidding. I was sitting there rushing, just like, I go, 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 yeah. go, 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 go. And I was like, I was so like, I, I am I not going to get to do it? And, you know, I did it, you know, got in. Yeah. It, it was great. Awesome. Awesome. And have you done plays before? Uh, No. So you just tried it out? Yep. I liked it. I, I, that's kind of how I started to be, but I was 17, so I missed out on all the fun, all those years. All right, all right, and, um, what is, what do you enjoy about rehearsing? What I enjoy is just, like, you know, um, being able to, you know, like, uh, see, like, you know, day by day, you take a step in, you take one step at a time, and you slowly just, like, in the beginning, it's just, like, the bones of it, and then you know you have the meat, just start adding everything else to it, and eventually, you full like sing just yeah, you know yeah. that you get to do and perform for like three nights absolutely and i really like because you bring something but then another actor brings something to the table and all together it's like it's like when you have a thanksgiving kind of thing and like one person brings a turkey one person brings potatoes one person brings stuffing and like yeah. once you have everything together it's, it's like one big stuffing. and the that's person true. that brings the rolls is the best just <laughs> person that brings the rolls is the best i'm, I'm they're sorry the best, period. Just, they're just the best I'm sorry. But. Awesome. Now, which roll with the roll? Rolls with the rolls. That kind of I think the rolls would fit the roll roll. About the roll rolling, rolls. Rolling. You about roll the rolling. rolls while you're playing the roll. I think you roll the rolls while you're playing the roll. You've got to roll with it. You know so, what I'm saying? Yeah, you, you got to roll. You gotta roll with it. Very, <laughs> Laura's over there going, are they... Charlie understands. Char All right, Charlie's I think we're running out of time on this. Do you have a favorite memory so far of your favorite memory? Um... Freaking out, we're over time. Oh God! <laughs> uh, so favorite memory? <laughs> uh, well, not that you have me thinking real fast. Um, I'll let you think. I'll let you think, man. You're good. It was uh, probably just everyone. Just whenever we would go up to think, there'd just always be someone here. Just heal, though. Heel, no, I'm like, I'm doing it, and I say, heel, no, I say, I'm doing it. <laughs> the heel, I'm like, I'm doing it. Told, although, I think on Squawk Talk, but we've talked about that for years. It's a different the heel toe on that back thing. All right, the final thing is survey. So I got to pull up my survey app on here, and you are going to just tell us what you think. Okay. Um, first things first is make sure it's. Um, thumbs up or thumbs down? What do you think about the following things? You like them? You not like them? Superhero movies? Uh, depends on which one, but yeah. But but cool. And how about the crew? Superhero movies? Thumbs up? Thumbs down? And if I want to do a thumb sideways, I would have just done that. Oh, true. Uh -huh. Um, math. We already know this. Uh, math. Thumbs down. Pop music. Uh, there's certain artists that I will listen to for pop music. Very cool. And Taco Bell. I'm a thumbs up on Taco Bell. Do you have any thumbs down on Taco Bell? What thought? No, no. Oh, a thumb sideways. All right. And pickles. I'll take a pickle, middle of the night, just eat a pickle. Just or, eat a pickle. I'll take hamburger dill chips and I'll just eat hamburger just, dill chips. Just pickle it up. Cool. My son came up with a uh, whole the pickles. Like, Whoa, 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 all the pickles. All right, next up, we've got one more thing. We're going to have you tell us about yourself. This or that. And you'll know which one it is because it says this, this, or that. <laughs> no all right. way. I know, it's crazy. All right, what would you rather do? 
We had to do one of these. The laundry or the dishes? Uh, I'd rather, like, uh, I'd rather away. do laundry. Laundry than dishes? It'd be the same. I would agree. I don't like, like reaching in and just touching, like, you know, just dirty food. Just, like, <laughs> Not the best. I'll eat the food, but just no. Yeah, I will too. Which do you prefer, individual or team sports? Uh, I like team sports a lot more. Team sports? Do you have a favorite sport? Uh, not. I don't really play any sports. I just don't like playing them. But like, yeah. what sports I like to play would be like hockey or, yeah, hockey. Just cool. hockey. I was trying to think of other ones. Yeah, no, that's fine. And um, would you rather stay in a cabin in the woods or in a beach house? Cabin in the woods. I'm the same way. We have beach houses over here. Yeah, beach houses. I mean, I'll go with either, but having the woods would be more fresh. And which would you prefer playing, paintball or laser tag? Paintball. I had paint. I did a paintball thing. This one? It cool. was great. I thought you were doing this. And I thought it was not good. It was not, <laughs> not good. good. And would you rather go to a drive-in movie or a movie theater? Movie theater. Very cool. Um, this was awesome. I had a great, I, I'm trying to see if there's a story that, uh, I can have you share with us. Um, I've got two stories. You pick which one. I uh, went over to a friend's house and accidentally left something there. And the other one is your sister drank the rest of. Oh, we're doing the right. We're doing, we're doing the drink. All yeah. right. Little sisters, right? Little sisters. Right? Little sister. It was about one or two years ago. And I just recently got revenge on her. With with K Pasa, we went to Mexican. I just started stealing. But here's the thing that made me get revenge. We went to Red Robin one night. I got oh. sweet tea. I went home. You know, I'm sitting down drinking my sweet tea. My sister comes in and she says, "Can I have a sip of your sweet tea?" And so I give her. You know, I give the the cup to her to let her have a sip. And she just she like she kind of just like holds the cup herself. And I was like, okay, that that's been a sip. And then she drinks the rest of it. It's all <laughs> gone. There's no more left for me. And I've just always been like wanting to get revenge, but I've never known how. But you got chicken tenders from K Pasta, which isn't. A- I was gonna say you already said. But yeah. you know. But if you don't like, she had she had French fries, so you know I just started at her French fries. She never knew, so never she knew. won't get revenge on me <laughs> until she sees this episode. Then she definitely will. All right, Uh-oh. thank you for being on the show, Michael. You are awesome. Super fun talking to you. Appreciate it. I'm so glad you did the play. And um, so don't forget to watch every Sunday at what time? Four o'clock. Four o'clock on Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time on Squawk Talk.